The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are going through a bit of a veteran purge this offseason as they look to get underneath the salary cap, get younger in all phases, and a player that could potentially be shown the door is fullback CJ Ham. Now, fan favorite, absolutely love the hammer CJ Ham. By the way, do you know his his real name is Cortez? So Cortez Jr. Cortez Ham is like a top ten NFL name of all time. It's amazing, man. But, you know, CJ has been a great lead blocker. Uh, He's been a team first guy, plays special teams, special teams captain, selfless dude, was a star tailback at Augustana, uh, converted to fullback in the league, and also (laughs) just just that look uh, ahead of overtime against the Colts after the Vikings came all the way back. It was just fantastic. Just fantastic, man. Uh, And CJ, uh, he is headed into the final year of his four-year $12 million extension that he signed a couple seasons ago. And he's due a $2.95 million base salary uh, with 750 k dead, which is his prorated signing bonus. Now, there's no... Um, there, there's no dates or like third day of the new league year, a certain percentage is guaranteed. So the Vikings do have a lot of leverage in the spot. Also with the reduction of the role of the fullback on the team of the of Vikings offense specifically, as well as the league writ large. I mean, CJ probably wouldn't have a ton of leverage in the spot, probably wouldn't have a huge market. So I think that he uh, is a candidate for a pay cut. And he, he's a guy that the Vikings would absolutely love to have back. He's one of those. So, when you're building the foundation for a team, you have the bricks, and the bricks are the superstars. You know, the bricks are JJ and Daniil and TJ and Christian Darrisaw, right? But you need that mortar. You need the mortar to hold the entire foundation together. And CJ Ham has always been a phenomenal mortar guy, both on offense as well as special teams. And CJ, 29 years young, is going to be 30 uh, by the time the 2023 season rolls around. The pride of Duluth, Minnesota, uh, 2016 UDFA out of Augustana. Now, I, I need to stress this. So so we stress this a lot with Thielen, with Sheryls, and CJ Ham. They weren't just UDFAs, undrafted free agents. They were UDFA tryouts. They were guys that they bring in with all the other UDFAs and some rookies uh, for rookie camp to just fill out the 53-man 53 uh, 53 roster so they can have practice. And he made the team. He made the team through that route. Amazing man. Uh, was a Vikings starting fullback for a number of seasons. Uh, career 106 touches, 45 first downs, which is insane. So he, he's only touched the ball 106 times, you know, both receiving and running the ball. He's got 45 first downs, five touchdowns. Amazing. And he's been a two-time team captain. Uh, first year was 2021, the final year of Zimmer, and then also this year carried over 2022 with Kevin O'Connell. Now, uh, there's a couple of good reasons why I keep C.J. Ham. Number one, locker room leader. Everyone loves C.J. Ham, especially in the running back room where the Vikings – could lose Madison, that could lose uh, Dalvin Cook, and Dalvin has always been you know, the, the great uh, sort of quiet leader in that room, and just keeping some veteran leadership there uh, in the running back room does make a lot of sense. Also, he's still effective on offense, even though his role has been reduced. You know, like I said, like w- once he gets the ball, like he'll get a first down. Uh, I, you know, whether it's a check down from Kirk Cousins mm, or, or uh, getting a carry inside uh, the, the red zone, He'll, he'll do some work, man. And he had 10 first downs on 14 touches in 2022, as well as a touchdown. Extremely efficient. You know, team cap, uh, captain on special teams. Uh, and he's still an elite special teamer. He played 336 special team snaps last season. 73.1 PFF special teams grade. Second on the squad behind Troy Dye. Uh, seven special teams tackles. Zero missed, as well as zero penalties, which is really uh, key on special teams. Plus, uh, his contract, well, like I said, he's due uh, 2.95 uh, only 750k of that is dead. I, I think that this is a leverage spot for the Vikings uh, because I'm sure that CJ Ham would want to come back. He probably wouldn't have too many options being a soon-to-be 30-year-old fullback. Um, but yeah, the league minimum for a seven-year veteran uh, is 1.165 million. It seems like something that about in that neighborhood that the Vikings and CJ come could come to agreement with. And in terms of you know, your 90 man roster, your 53 man roster, having guys on minimal deals, especially veterans like CJ Ham, who have that institutional knowledge, as well as our team captains and leaders, uh, and as well as our huge contributors uh, in the third phase on special teams. That's big. That, that, that is mantra. So uh, I'm actually rooting for the Vikings uh, to find a way to work out, uh, work things out with CJ Ham, uh, probably reduce that cap hit uh, a little bit uh, as the Vikings look to uh, scrape together some nickels and dimes and get in cap compliance compliance by the uh, first day of the new league year, as well as uh, free up some money to be players in free agency, but keep CG a ham.
damn straight, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the case for keeping fullback and special teams captain CJ Ham. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.